Hello YouTube, it's Gekron's back again, and I'm doing another video on Mr. Uh, Scissor Fight. I'm just kind of checking out his channel, because I, I thought this was pretty interesting. I was looking at his description, and this guy is kind of all over the place here, so let's look at his description. Please stop with the lies, false flags, hoaxes, fear, race baiting, enslavement, warmongering, religious, and government propaganda. No one in their right mind and common sense is buying it. People are starting to wake up and see the evil. If mainstream media showed a picture of a codfish and said it was a new species of seal, the gullible suckers would believe it without a doubt. No question asked. Fact. Wow. So apparently this guy thinks we're all retards. Nice. Kind of a good way of conveying your message, I suppose. Um, hmm. Look, I'm all for a nice big solid revolution, but I don't think uh, hippie looking jackasses like this, if you look at his description picture, he kind of looks like an overbearing hippie. I just don't think you're the one to lead a revolution. Let's see if I can get a picture of this asshole. Wow. This guy kind of reminds me of some of those hippies you see back, like seeing pictures from the 70s and the 60s. Jesus Christ, dude. So, you want to try to change the world by what? Protesting around, acting like an idiot. I I'm not sure where you're going with this, because a lot of your videos just kind of seem like all over the place. So, yeah, I, I don't get this guy, frankly. Like I said, if you guys watch some of this stuff, just kind of send me some comments about this thing. Frankly, I, I kind of want to know a little bit more. I'm probably going to watch a few of his videos, try to figure out where he's coming from. But as far as I'm concerned, if you want to change the government, if you want a revolution, guess what? <clears throat> there is no peaceful way to do it. You either commit to it, or nothing ever changes. That's how it works. That's why it's called a revolution. The only time anything is truly successful, if you want peace, prepare for war. So if you want to change the government, you want to get rid of the government, then you've got to fight the government. That's how you change the government. Some of his stuff I do agree, a lot of hoaxes out there, a lot of fear mongering, war mongering, I, I can agree with it, but guess what? You want to change things, you want peace, you got to prepare for war. Soldiers over the, over the history of the world have discovered this. And as much as he doesn't like to admit it, as far as I'm concerned, all he's doing is contributing to the government. Because unless he's going to provide a video of how to change the government through peaceful means, you are never going to do it. What you need is one person with a set of guts to stand up and look at the government and go, I will fight you. Not because I believe in Black Lives Matter. Not because I believe in all the other garbage. Five of these for one sound card driver. Anyhow. You want to change things. Black Lives Matter, you're very misguided. The only racism is in your head. Feminists. You're misguided. The only sexism is in your head. You two groups and all you social justice warriors are out warriors out there and all your little groups and all your little bullshit are playing right into the government hands because what do you think you're gonna do when you've rioted and protested enough? Martial law will ensue. <clears throat> and then you will stand back and watch your very freedoms get stripped away. It's happened in the past, it'll continue to happen, and at that point yeah, could you uh, kind of widen that out? Nice. It'll happen again and again and again. So if you want to change things, you truly want to incite 
change, you've actually got to settle on how you're going to go about it. You got to come up with a brand new government system. Because you go communist, we've already seen what that what happens there. It fails. Because communism is a flawed ideology. So is capitalism. It's flawed in its ways as well. Because the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. I've seen the homeless numbers grow where the government ignores them. And bringing in more foreigners is not going to help any country. I don't care how good the, the, the reason is, it's never going to happen. You're literally going to screw yourself. You want to fix your country, you got to focus on it. There are multiple instances of the banned foreigner. It all boils down to this. If you believe as I believe, you'll like and subscribe to this video and you'll share it. Because there's merit behind what I say. I've studied history long enough to know that when revolutions are without a good solid foundation happen, the only thing that comes of it is a lot of body bags being lined in the streets, people getting shot, and innocents being caught in the crossfire. But if a, if a revolution with a purpose, a solid, strong foundation, a heavy message to it happens, it's, it's a great thing. I agree with a lot of people the government is flawed. In many ways, every government on this planet, there is no perfect system. And none of them really work. They're archaic. Any government is flawed and corrupted because it's always the rich that back them. And what do you think the rich are? If you were to look into Canada alone, and this should really piss Canadians off, if you were to look at it, the police have a hard time prosecuting organized crime members and bosses for a reason, it's because they've they started blending into society with the legitimate business of becoming the well-polished elites. There's research, you could literally go on there and look up organized crime, organized crime in Canada and it will come up with report after report after report. I encourage you to look at it. And who do you think these people are going to finance? The government, for security. The politicians that you vote in, you elect, are going to take money from these people so that they don't have to face criminal charges. If you believe as I believe, you feel as I feel, you will have to look within yourself and understand, look, at some point, where do we go from here? How do we address the situation? I leave it up to you to decide. Because the longer you guys wait, unless everyone can unite, and I'm talking about the common man, unless you all can unite, regardless of race, faith, whether you're religious at all, if you're an atheist, fine, whatever, who cares? Our differences shouldn't divide us, it should unite us. Because if we were all the same, it would be a pretty damn boring world. And I've said some pretty mean things on this channel, and yeah, I laugh at protesters getting run over protesting hasn't worked now has it it's just stupid unorganized and all you guys shout out rhetoric rhetoric you have no organization you have no system I would actually like to start up a channel a chat channel on Facebook I want to hear you guys opinion I want you guys to engage me in open discussion so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open up a chat on Facebook under Gekrons I want you guys to talk to me. And help bring your friends into this. We shouldn't be afraid of the government has these to have these discussions. The government should be afraid of us. We are the people. We have always now and always will have the power. It's whether you want to stick your head in the sand and just ignore the world around you and watch your rights be stripped away by a few groups that the government may want to back because they're PC culture all over. Freedom of speech is going to be the first thing stripped if martial law comes about. And you think the military is going to hand back that power? No. History says that the military will take it. It will become a military state. And do you think you're going to have rights? You think a police state would be bad? A military state would be the worst. Because if you go against the machine, you will be shot. So if you're an individual human being, 
I think you might want to look deep within yourself and figure out what you want to do with your life. Revolutions are a scary thing. People die. We're all going to die eventually. How do you want history to remember you? So the next time you see a person that's different than you, different idea, I want you to try to do this. Look at them and go, I will fight for you. You are my friend. I want the black community to actually look at a white person and go, I forgive you. <coughs> or, you know, just get rid of this whole slavery thing, because if you're in Canada, we never owned slaves. We never have. In fact, we were the ones trying to free slaves. The only thing you're inciting is enslavement yourself with your protests. So I want everyone to think about that. I don't care what color you are, I don't care what faith you are, I don't care what gender you are. I want you to think about this. I want you to like this video and I want you to share it. If you don't like it, dislike it. I'm going to try to make that account today. I want you guys to send chats through. Send me messages. And I said, you know how to spell Gekrons, I'm pretty sure, if you've been following this channel. I want you to share this with your friends. With your family. Because soon enough, the world is changing in a very dangerous way. Open your eyes. Look around. I encourage you to do this. Because you, the innocent ones out there, are being manipulated. This message is being sent by a person just like you that had been manipulated but woke up on my own volition. I woke up. So what do you take away from this? Take away this. Think for yourself. Talk to me. That's it. Like, subscribe, share it. Share it everywhere. Cigarron saying goodbye guys. And good luck to all of us.